Urban anglers often have more barriers to overcome than other anglers. Good fishing spots can be hard to come by in the city, and outdoor spaces need to be shared with other users like bikers or parkgoers. But recently, Toronto anglers have been facing a new issue, harassment. The Ontario Federation of Anglers and Hunters has sent a memo to the City of Toronto on angler harassment. Chris Robinson from the OFAH gave us the rundown on why they are taking action on this growing issue. Our uh, letter to the City of Toronto came from a number of incidents that happened this uh, summer in the City of Toronto at permitted uh, events in city parks that uh, were very uh, disturbing where these events were disrupted by, uh, by uh, people who seemed to be opposed to fishing or at least opposed to these events in these parks. The harassment seems to be coming from anti-fishing groups concerned about the wildlife in city parks. Robinson says incidents like these ones are becoming all too common. Certainly in Toronto in the last few years it seems to be increasing in some areas uh, uh, in particular. There, there are a few uh, hot spots uh, where groups seem to have been organized to, to do this. Uh, we have had reports that it's ongoing at a fairly regular basis and individuals are coming up and, and, uh, and bothering uh, anglers and in some cases they may be going as far as to actually misrepresent uh, whether or not angling is allowed in these parts. The OFAH is hoping for a response from the city soon. We presume that any other event that would happen in the uh, city at a park that's been permitted, a uh, birthday party or cultural celebration, wouldn't be uh, have to face this sort of harassment. The city would step in to, to make sure people didn't enjoy the park properly and, and the space can be shared by everyone who wants to use it. So we hope to see that sort of response uh, to help anglers in the parks as well. If you are an angler being harassed, Robinson says there are several ways you can respond. The best thing to do is to make sure you're aware of your rights and what the regulations are and you can use that in your defense. You can also make sure that anyone who's coming up and, and challenging you, especially if they're really interrupting your fishing, make sure that they're aware in Ontario that it's illegal to, to obstruct the angling, hunting and trapping in the province so that they are and make them aware that they are, you feel they are doing so and that uh, uh, there can be an opportunity for you to uh, to look to have them charged with that, probably through a, a call to a conservation officer would be the best uh, case. I'm Sarah McMichael for Keep Canada Fishing.